I'll just start talking. Yep. You can return as you do. But we were talking, we are speaking about some things that I thought were of import. Seemed like an interesting pathway of understanding that was coming to light. So I thought, well, throw this thing on record and uh, let's share this because it's an interesting conversation. And you know, it all started with the question of what is Christ to you? What is the Christ to you? What does that mean to you? That's kind of what kicked this thing off as I was asking my friend Colby here and uh, you know he was immediately talking about his interpretation of it and things and it kind of evolved to um, you know digging into the etymology of the word Christ as the Messiah the anointed one um, it's also defined as an ideal type of humanity as well as a truth which destroys man's error, right? Incarnate error, or might, some might call that sin. And so in that sense, it's a redeeming, it is a redeeming. Um, Christ the Redeemer, we've heard of this saying before, yeah? And so, well, what is the redemption? What is that, in fact? So we were defining redemption, redeeming, what does that mean? Just catching you guys up to speed on where the conversation is and where we're at with things because, you know, then we'll move on from there because I'm curious uh, about where it will lead. I don't know the answers. You know, this is why I'm posing the question and sometimes the answers come out of the conversation or at least some answers do. Or new questions come out of the conversation as well, which is also uh, a never-ending strand. But I digress. Are you sure? Moving back to redemption right? Redeeming. What is redemption? And we talked about redemption as being like a mistake being corrected, right? I've made an error. Like, let's say I've done something. Uh, maybe I've inadvertently offended someone. Um, you? <laughs> it's, it's in the realm of all possibility. You know, we're just, we're just surmising here. This is a hypothesis. Okay, I accidentally offended someone. Let's say I made a hand gesture that was uh, not appropriate for their culture, unbeknownst to me, and they were offended. But then I brought them out a very fine tea, and uh, it was just reminiscent of their childhood time they spent with their grandmother. And so, uh, you know what they said, this guy's not half bad. They, and and they, they thought well of me again, and so I was redeemed in their eyes as well as, you know, in myself, because I made that gesture uh, to correct the error of my ways. You didn't do one of these, And you? so in redemption, we have a couple factors, right? What do we have? Hmm. Acceptance. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would say that's a factor, yeah, acceptance. We have to have acceptance in order to move past it. There's some degree of acceptance, there's a, we, a knowledge of um, something we did that we have remorse over or regret or whatever. And then, so therefore, mm. acknowledging that. And I think saying, that's, a, that's common. I don't know if that's a necessary factor. I definitely say that's common with part of it. But like sometimes you could just make an error unbeknownst to you. You didn't even know. So there's no real need no, to have sure. guilt sure. or regret. It's just like, oh, it was a mistake. How can I redeem myself? Sure. Well, just do it this way from now on. It's fine. Uh, obviously, there are some egregious errors, which, you know, like let's say you accidentally ran over someone because you weren't paying attention. Uh, There's the word I wanted. Go. Redemption is going to be a hard uh, thing to come by at that point. You know, you've committed an egregious error. So let's maximize, let's blow it out for a minute so we can really get clear on this. At that point, I've taken a life. Yeah, maybe it was accidental. It could, could have been, um, you know, shit, it could have been on purpose. Maybe I could be a horrible person. Maybe I just ran somebody over because I, I hated that person. They did something that I felt wronged me. I didn't like what they stood for, so I just killed them. Or maybe I was just thinking, that's the type of person like this. I'm just going to kill all these types of people, as some people have done, right? How does that person get redemption? Whew, that's a, that's a tough one, right? In order for them to have redemption, I mean, that has to be something like beyond what 
you know. That's between them, that that person and their Lord. Whoo! All right. Well, we're going, we're going down the rabbit hole now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. it definitely is not uh, uh, yep. for us to say. Mm -hmm. But I'm just I'm just surmising. I'm just trying to get clear on what redemption is. So for in in order for re that person to be redeemed, some great act of like forgiveness and correction would have to come through. I don't know. Some great spiritual power would have to come through, as far as I can see in order for that person to be redeemed. But it's it's possible in the grand scheme of all things, just like, you know, me offending someone. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, I think redemption has like these once. factors. <laughs> if we break it down, right, there is correction of the error. There may or may not be remorse. I don't know. Um, hopefully. Uh, if a lesson needed to be learned, if an error was committed intentionally, certainly that would be a requirement. Um, and then there's this power of transformation that brings wholeness back to the situation. So I could say for my own self, if I am redeemed, I was feeling like, ah, uh, things are not right. And now I'm redeemed and ah, uh, things are right again. A return to wholeness, or we could say holiness, a return to holiness. So a force, a power uh, comes through, somehow makes a transformation and Correction of error, return to wholeness is the result. So my question now is, if Christ is the Redeemer, and to the best understanding that I have, Christ is that power which redeems. That ultimate power of redemption is Christ. If that's the case, my question is, and now you're all caught up. Now you're all caught up. This is where we were when, uh, when I started the recording. Mm -hmm. Is If that is the case, then what is this Christ? What is this power of redemption? What is it? I, I'm curious. I want to know. I need to know. What is it? What is the process through which it redeems? Myself, others, the world. What is the process? And third question is, what is my part in this process? Hmm. Holy. Oh. Why do we? I heard this. This is the best I can do to interpret it. What I heard this past year, um, gentleman said, "Ever think about what we're searching for? To something to this degree, and why we work so hard at." Um, Achieving this, achieving that, these benchmarks of this like life that we've been bred to believing, which, granted, some of it can be valid, I suppose, but we lose even sleep in this anxiety thing and all this. And what I gathered from what he was saying is, we're searching to be whole. Uh, that makes sense, I guess. And he was so like charismatic and so funny and like he just he got you on all levels and so highly intelligent. Um, he said more or less like, well, let's, let's talk about this. We're searching to be whole. I would agree with that. And he says this. Anybody ever considered the, the meaning of the word whole? Not like down in a hole, or maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, but I'm not referring to Alice in Change right now. I'm referring to holiness, and, and like, and that's what really hit me. Well, the two words are virtually interchangeable, and just depending on the sort of way you look at it, is uh, we have wholeness, right? Is completion, uh, oneness? We could say not divided. And holiness is, we could say, 
connection with, immersion into the divine, um, being reabsorbed wholly, to be made whole, as in, I am no longer separate from God, from the creation and things. To be whole is to be holy, and vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. Touche. Well said. Um, yeah. Um, I actually saved his info. I'll share it with you. Um, well, that's fine. We can do that off camera. Yeah. In the but, meantime, uh, this yeah. is probably... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to let you know. That yeah. One of the more profound people I've ever met. Like, he's, he's awesome. A point to just reiterate the questions again and see if there's a, um, a known or maybe a hypothesis about... A, what it is we have again what is the medium through which redemption happens if it is the christ then what is that what is this medium right how do i access it how do i know it second is what is the process by which redemption occurs what is this process the transformational process what is it and tertiarily, it's thirdly. Did you make that? <laughs> now it's the thing. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if it was like we're speaking Lorta language or something. Tertiarily, what is my part <laughs> in this process? Huh? You're right. right. Ter what wow. is my part in the process? I, I need to know I've this. Never heard that word. Otherwise, how can I or pay attention to it? Intelligently and actively participate in it. Oof. So, anyways, I don't know if you have answers to this question or any of these questions. By all means, drop them in the comments below, or uh, you know, if you have uh, comments other than answers to the questions, by all means, we'll take them as well. <laughs> If you have further questions that came up as a result of that, I'd be interested in knowing those. Do me a favor and send them his way. I'm still getting caught up with my own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but least... yeah, as far as as far as I know, let me see if I have an answer to any of these questions myself through my direct experience right now. The medium through which it happens. Hmm. Now I'm definitely currently investigating this. I want to be able to know it, to be able to sense it, to be able to contact it directly. I don't want to imagine it unless it's real. Secondarily, what is the process? I, yeah, again, I don't have the answer to that question. Maybe I don't even need to know. Maybe it's something that's beyond my ken, yeah, beyond my imagination even. And that. it's unnecessary for me to, to know in that way. But thirdly, what is my part in the process? This I am very, very invested in. I know I need to know this. What is my part? What is my part so I can participate correctly in the undoing of my incarnate error? Hmm. Those are my thoughts. That's a nice word. Good phrasing, I have to say. Anyway, uh, good stuff. Love you, brother. Love you too, man. Mm. All, right. You. all right. When when you figure this stuff out, please, by all means, just let's do another video here in a little bit. All right. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.